Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, perpendicular CD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, side length uh, AB of this triangle is 169 units whereas this perpendicular CD 60 units. And now our task is uh, to find the missing uh, side length uh, BC and this uh, missing side length uh, AC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and label uh, this segment uh, AD. I'm going to call uh, lowercase a and this other segment uh, BD I'm going to call uh, lowercase b. And now our task is uh, to find the value of A and B before we could calculate uh, these uh, side lengths. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles must be equal to 90 degrees. So therefore, let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, alpha and we know this angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And now in this triangle uh, ACD, we know this angle is beta. We know this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle alpha. And if this angle is alpha and this whole angle is 90 degrees, so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta. So therefore we conclude that this uh, right triangle ACD is uh, similar to this other right triangle BCD according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion, in other words, uh, the ratio of uh, AD and uh, CD is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, CD and uh, BD. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down the ratio of uh, AD and uh, CD is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, CD and uh, BD. And now we can see our AD length is lowercase a, our CD length is 60, likewise CD length is 60 and our BD length is lowercase b. Let me go ahead and cross multiply. So therefore we can write A times B equal to 60 times 60 is going to give us 36. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number one. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole side length AB equals to 169. And furthermore, this AB side length is the sum of these two individual segments A and this segment lowercase b. So therefore, I can write A plus B equal to 169. So there I'm going to write down A plus B equal to 169. Let me call this our equation number 2. And now let's recall the Vieta's formula for the quadratic equation x square minus sum of the roots times x plus the products of the roots. And here we got the sum of two roots and here we got the product uh, of two roots as well. So therefore our this uh, equation is going to become uh, x square minus our sum is uh, 169 times x plus our product of the roots are 36 hundred equal to 0. And now we can see we got this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve for uh, by grouping uh, and uh, factoring and you may use a quadratic formula as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, constant uh, 3600 and here I have copied it down 3600 and 36 uh, could 
100 could be broken down to 36 times 100 and we can break down this 100 as 4 times 25 and now we can see 36 times 4 is going to give us 144 and then we got 25 so therefore 3600 could be written as 25 times 144 and now we got these two feasible factors and if we add them we are going to get 169 and now let's focus on this middle term negative 169 x this could be written as negative 25 x minus 144 x as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this uh, negative 169 x uh, by these ones and now we can see between first these two terms uh, x is in common and between uh, these uh, next two terms uh, negative 144 is in common so therefore i can write x time uh, x minus uh, 25 and here i'm going to factor out negative 144 and we are going to get x uh, minus uh, 25 uh, equal to 0 and now we can see these factors are uh, identical so therefore we can write x minus 25 uh, times uh, x minus uh, 144 equal to 0 let me go ahead and separate them i can write x minus 25 equal to 0 and the other factor is x minus 144 equal to 0 so therefore for this first equation x is going to be positive 25 for this next equation x is going to be equal to positive 144 so therefore we got these two roots 25 and 144 and uh, our roots at the very first place are a and b so therefore a is going to be 25 and b is going to be equal to 144 so therefore our a value turns out to be 25 and b value is 144 in other words uh, this uh, segment uh, a d is uh, 25 units whereas uh, this segment uh, bd is 144 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, acd and now let's recall the pythagorean uh, triplets 5 12 and uh, 13 and if i multiply all these uh, numbers uh, by 5 uh, across the board then our new set of Pythagorean triplets are going to become 5 times 5 is going to give us 25, 12 times 5 is 60 and 13 times 5 is 65 and here we can see we got 25 and 60 so therefore this missing side has got to be 65 and now let's focus uh, on the other right triangle uh, BCD and now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets once again 5 12 and 13 and this time I'm going to multiply by 12 uh, across the board and as a result we get a new set of uh, Pythagorean triplets 5 times 12 is going to give us 60 12 times 12 is going to give us uh, 144 and 13 times 12 is 156 and now we can see for this triangle this number is 60 this is uh, 144 so therefore this missing uh, side is going to be 156 uh, units so thus our missing side length uh, turns out to be 65 units and this missing side is uh, 156 uh, units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye